everyone um welcome back today i wanted to do a video on luxury bag purchases that i regret um i have been in love with bags slash collecting bags for about um since 2014 so about six years i never actually bought any bags until 2017 since then it's kind of snowballed into every opportunity that i had um i think throughout these years I have definitely made some of the mistakes that are very very common and some of the mistakes that I didn't really foresee coming true for me. Um, I guess I just didn't really realize that as a factor back then so hopefully this video can help you realize those. So yeah, the first bag that I want to show that fall into this category is my <laughs> first ever bag, the Speedy 35 um, in the bandolier style so it has this strap and um it's not the classic size so it's not the speedy 30 which i know a lot of people have and love um when i went into the store to buy this bag in the 30 size actually they didn't have the damir ben print um in store at that time and i was really set on that experience being like it for me i did love this bag for about a good year and a half i used it constantly it was my everyday bag the reason why I would say that I regret this purchase is that prior to the Speedy, I have never had a bag in this style before. And by that, I mean it's one giant compartment. I still have stuff in it from my travels in January. Um, there is no outside pocket, which is something that I found that I really, really appreciate, especially living in London. You're traveling a lot on public transport. You're trying to get things in and out really quickly um, and efficiently. Um, and I think just as a work bag, it wasn't comfortable enough for me to carry that much stuff with me. So for, as a work bag, I would put my lunch in it, my gym kit, gym shoes. I would bring my notebook around with me all the time, a charger and a laptop as well. Um, it just wasn't feasible for me and because it was a 35 i didn't feel comfortable with it being crossbody because it was just too big and clunky across my body so then i switched the strap i took out the middle bit to have it as a shoulder bag which actually design wise and when you wear it it i really love the look it's kind of a casual sling it on your shoulder and you go kind of look but the treated leather on the straps is really really rigid and it's also very smooth so it slides off your shoulder all the time so i think in terms of that i got it as a you know a, as a classic bag because everybody had it and loved it but i think in terms of usability i first of all may have gotten the wrong size um i my, might have gotten a style that didn't necessarily suit me slash I didn't try it out but because everybody loved it and because it was a classic I thought that for sure I would love it and use it just as much as everybody else did another one that I actually wanted to talk about is the famous wallet on chain um, bags they were really really big i think in 2016 slash 2017 everybody wanted or had the chanel wallet on a chain um and obviously as a bag lover i really wanted one of those but i just couldn't really justify the price so i was actually looking on you know fendi and dior their online site to see if there's anything similar that was to that style and this one came up this is the dior wallet on a chain um it's actually a gorgeous beautiful bag um it is a bit roomier than i think the chanel walk because it's lambskin so it's a bit more pliable so you can actually stuff quite a lot of things in there for example my iphone is at a 7 plus it fits right in there quite nicely the reason why this is a luxury regret for me is because yes it's a classic and yes everybody has you know a wallet on a chain or it's one of the must-haves in terms of categories that a lot of people talk about but it just doesn't suit my style anymore I am more of a casual dresser I like things to be a bit more plain and kind of minimal and streamlined and this is very much a beautiful very classic but dressed up bag because of the studs because of this canage kind of pattern and the very nice, actually very, very nice, rustic gold chain. It is all a bit too much, I guess, for me to wear on a day-to-day -day basis. I, it doesn't really go with my outfit. I don't personally get, 
use out of it because it's just not my style. This one, the Gucci Di Dionysus, Dionysus, I don't know. Um, it, it is so beautiful. That's the thing about this bag is that I just love the look of it. When I take this out of the dust bag, I am admiring it so much and it's just one of those bags that you takes my breath away at least you know i loved every single detail about it i love how the clasp is on the side and you open it like this i love how it's an accordion style i just everything about this bag just screams luxury to me this was my second bag so after the speedy 35 um my mom actually gifted this to me um as a graduation present um we bought it together in vegas so obviously sentimentally this means so much to me and I picked this out and it got her, you know, fashion style stamp of approval which also meant quite a bit to me. Um, but in terms of functionality, in terms of style, it just doesn't suit me um, at all. <laughs> um, it's actually really sad if you think about it because this I think a lot of people have compared the weight to the Chanel Jumbo. I've only ever tried on the Chanel Jumbo and you know when I was in the Chanel store I was just too related to even notice the weight but I think the same thing happened for the Gucci because I didn't notice the weight until I started wearing it you know around the third or fourth time I feel like the first initial few times you wear a bag you're kind of blind to all of the cons and all of the potential issues that it might have just because you're so happy and excited to have it um, that definitely happened to me especially in the store and especially when we were walking around with it on vacation I didn't notice the weight of it at all and then when I moved to London I was trying to make it my everyday bag but then because of the material which is suede you can see here it's suede and the weight of the bag and because you're not able to wear it as a crossbody I was constantly having to wear it on my shoulder like this like this which is beautiful but because it's just a chain strap it also falls off the shoulder quite a lot. I don't know what it is about me and shoulders, but I might have very slopey shoulders or very narrow shoulders or something like that. I don't really know, but shoulder bags just don't stay on me. They just keep slipping, especially the chain ones. And because of the weight of it, I found that I was constantly having to hike up my shoulder like this. So I was tensing my shoulder throughout the entire day. Also very, very afraid of the elements because it's suede. I was afraid of eating next to it because I didn't want to drop food on it. So I guess in terms of like that and usability, I just never reach for this anymore because if I go out for the day, I usually don't know when I'm going to be home. Um, so I didn't want to risk my shoulder being in like this position the whole day. And I also didn't know when it's going to rain throughout the day because you know, if you've been to London, you know that the weather is super sporadic. And very random so I just didn't want to subject this bag to any of the elements at all so I mean if those things don't matter to you at all I would actually highly recommend this bag but because of my lifestyle and the things I worry about and you know my shoulder and the pains and this is also one of my luxury regrets unfortunately another one as if that one didn't teach me a lesson I bought this I wanted another Gucci bag, another shoulder bag, and another fine, delicate material bag. So this one is obviously pink velvet, which actually, if you think about it, it's in weight, very, very light compared to the Dionysus. Um, but the thing that I didn't learn, obviously, is again, it's a shoulder bag. Yes, you can wear it crossbody, but, um, but because it's quite a large size bag like this, if you wear it crossbody, it's very large. <laughs> so, I mean, I will do it if it requires, if the situation requires, but like I do feel a bit weird with it crossbody. So, it is primarily a shoulder bag for me. And again, because it's velvet, I'm also still afraid of the elements. So, I mean, if you think about it, I have quite a lot of fine material bags and not a lot of sunny days in London so then when you know I'm going to be out for the day the choices are too much for the amount of times I get to use them so yeah this is another one of the functionality slash materials regrets that I have I really like to treat myself when it comes to special occasions like my birthday or Christmas I fall into the mistake of browsing online endlessly 
for something to treat myself to. So it's the, oh, it's very loud, I'm sorry. Um, it's the Balenciaga souvenir bag and you can see that there's quite a lot of chains on it. This is an endlessly cool bag. <laughs> like it makes me feel like I'm like cool, you know? <laughs> and I do love it for that, but the reason why I bought it is because it was my birthday. It was last year, my birthday. I originally actually bought the Givenchy Antigona Mini in the mock croc um, and although I loved that bag, I just feel like in that material there's quite a lot of things that quality wise wasn't up to par so I'm gonna insert some pictures over here so that you can see what I struggled with essentially the glazing on the zipper was coming apart and I returned it and exchanged it for another one and it had the same issue and there were quite a lot of different indents on the mock croc version that I just couldn't get past um, so I, I just returned it and exchanged it for this one instead um, this was definitely a spur of the moment aspirational purchase for me I had seen it quite a few times on Jessica Clements on her Instagram she wears it so so well and it's one of those bags that I've always kind of like oh wow it's really pretty but I never actually thought of getting for myself um, until it was my birthday and I felt somehow stressed and pressured to buy something which is just ridiculous when you say it out loud you should definitely kind of wait to buy something that you actually want I bought this I regret it because I don't feel anything emotionally towards it and for me luxury purchases and luxury items it means a lot to me emotionally that's why I buy it that's why I enjoy it so much because I get so much joy out of it because I feel so proud of it because I've done so much research that I feel like I know the bag and I feel like I'll enjoy it so so much but I just don't feel anything towards this bag functionality wise it's it's great it's actually a bum bag so you can just like this it's really really cool it obviously doesn't go with this hoodie what i like to do with it is just wear it as an evening bag so the chain is like here so it almost serves as jewelry so functionality wise i do use it quite a bit i go out with it quite a lot but i just don't feel that way about it and i i just think because of that i may have wasted quite a lot of money on something that i don't absolutely love but yeah that's one lesson learned and that's why I'm a bit upset about that. I'm not upset about that bag, that's kind of a strong word, but I don't really love it as much as I do the other bags. And when I think back on it, it was a bit hasty. It was definitely more of an impulse buy because of the occasion. I just wanted something and it shows, you know what I mean? From these mistakes, you can definitely, in other bags that you buy, you know exactly what to look for. So, you know, when I bought the Loewe puzzle, I knew what to look out for. I needed a light bag, I need a lightweight bag, I needed a bag with a back zipper, I needed a smooth zipper, I needed it to be crossbody, <laughs> I needed a transition from day to night. So all of these categories are very particular to me. And I don't think watching, you know, a few YouTube videos telling you what not to do and what to do, you're going to figure out for yourself because this is very individual, this is very personal, I think. So, I mean, hopefully my experiences can help you. The things that I felt and the things that I was chasing, if you are feeling those same things, I'm here to tell you that it doesn't last. <laughs> I think that's it. Um, thank you very, very much for watching this. Um, next time I do want to do a shoe video because I really, really love shoes and I haven't been able to wear them outside yet. Definitely subscribe if you're into videos like this. I want to do lots more of these. Um, and yeah, I really appreciate your time in watching this and hope this helped in some way. Bye.